guys, it's Gerardo here with another video, finally after two weeks. So today I'm going to show you how to win the milk jug bottle knockover thingy or whatever you like to call it. There's a lot of names like one ball, uh, milk jug toss, I don't know, whatever you like to call it, that's what it is. Uh, so it's basically you have three milk bottles or bottles in general and you have to knock them over. It might sound as simple as that, but sometimes it's harder than it actually looks. Um, I have a tennis ball, which isn't something they usually use in most carnivals. They use like a baseball, but I'm too lazy to go get the baseball in my backyard. So. <laughs> so I'm gonna just use this tennis ball I found in my room. And I got three bottles. Um, these bottles are like perfect for what I need. Um, I got them from this like slim fast and then I painted one gold but it looked like garbage. But basically I used this and I took it off and now it looks like this. It looks like a good milk jug to, you know, use. So basically what I did is I studied and I did my research and I went through the internet and found everything I need to know about how to play this game and how to win. Alright, first thing you need to know, just because it looks easy doesn't mean it is. There's a certain distance, usually it's about like six feet of distance between you and these bottles. So if you're not good at throwing a ball at an object, you probably want to go practice that. The best area to throw it is like right here so that it hits both, knocks them out, and then it knocks out the top one and like that's basically the easiest one as long as you hit it right in the middle like every other carnival you usually tell you some things that they don't tell you though is some carnivals are rigged in the way that they'll weigh some down so here i'm gonna use this white one so you guys know this is the one that i'm gonna use i'm gonna put whites i'm gonna put water in it some people use sand though some would use water i'm gonna just use water because that's really easy to use so I'm just gonna, you know, pour in some water. So I'm basically making one heavier than the others. All right, it's almost there. Oh, I want more water. Dang, oh, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I got everything uh, ready. I got the water in it. So this thing is heavy. And this is full of water. Oh, shoot, that was too tight. All right, so it, there's water in here, if you can hear. All right, some ASMR for you guys. So what most carnivals would use, would do is they'll have one. These two are light. There's nothing in them, as you can tell. And then this one does, this one's heavier. So this one has water and these ones don't have water. Or usually they'll have dirt or something in here. They'll make it heavier. And now what they would do is once you start, before you start even playing, they'll put the heaviest one at the top. See, it weighs it down. So once you hit at least one of these over, everything's gonna fall off. So it looks like you weren't rigged at all. But then what they would do is once you actually start to play or if it's your second try or something, They'll put the white one or the one with water or dirt or whatever in the bottom. They'll put the heaviest one in the bottom and they'll put a light one at the top. So now if you try to hit it, wait, let me, all right. So now if you try to hit it, it'll knock these two over and usually this will just skid or just move to the side and you basically got rigged over because this thing doesn't fall easily. It is possible to knock it over, but how easy is it to actually knock it over? This thing is pretty tough because these things are lighter so they'll automatically just fall down but this thing you know you're gonna give it a few hits before it actually falls like it's gonna skirt through the ground so it's really unreliable another thing that they do though is some carnivals aren't allowed to do this so another thing they would do is they'll put this one right here here I'm gonna do it in the side view they'll put one down and you know how you think it'll just be straight up like this and it's supposed to be a straight line basically well some carnivals will do it like this and from your perspective, you're looking at it like this. And it might look like it's normal, but it's not. So once you're actually hitting it, it's actually really hard to knock everything over. So you have to watch out for those, especially. 
So, you know, you just gotta watch out for what you or you're playing. If you're at a more like, if you know if you're in a carnival that's more, you know, like on the cheap side, just watch out for those. If you're at like a really high-end carnival, you usually won't find these things. It'll probably be easier, like if you go to Disneyland Carnival or something, or Universal Studios, you probably won't see this at all because I don't think they're like that. But if you're going on the cheap, cheaper side of carnivals, there is a really good chance that they might do this kind of stuff to you. And another, the last thing I want to get, I want to go over is that you guys need to have practice. Don't just go to a carnival and expect to win things if you really want to win something. Um, I always train, even though it might sound stupid. I always train before I go to a. Um, I always train before I go to a, a carnival so that I don't look stupid and I can have the best prize and then have all the people look at me like I'm some sort of superhero that wins all the prizes. So yeah, basically training is one of the best ways to win. So yeah, basically that's my tutorial on how to win, what to watch out for and everything else. So I'll see you guys on the flip side of the games. I hope to see you guys at a carnival and if you guys are at a carnival and you see me, don't be afraid to say hi. I, I wanna meet my first uh, my first real subscriber that's not my friends or family so yeah if you, if you guys recognize me please come up to me and say you watch my videos please it'll make me happy all right i'll see you guys later with another video hopefully not in two weeks again like i did with this i'm sorry i had a lot of school stuff but yeah so bye